This video shows how Autodesk Revit Work Sharing Operations function when used within a project-wise integrated environment. The video involves two people from different companies working from different offices collaborating on the same Revit design and models, all made possible by the use of ProjectWise. Starting in ProjectWise Explorer, I will navigate in my project to the Revit data. And you can see here I have my central models. In this project there are three central models, one each for architecture, structural, and MEP. You can have as many models as you need. This was all that was needed for this project. All of the models were formatted for use with the Revit 2011 product line. In this case, I'll take a local working copy of the architectural model and demonstrate the most common Revit work sharing workflows when integrated with ProjectWise. I can either choose to start my work from ProjectWise Explorer, or I can simply launch Revit. In this case, I will use Revit 64-bit 2011. And using the ProjectWise single sign-on capability, log in to my ProjectWise project and open the file I want without needing to use ProjectWise Explorer at all. So I'll navigate to the folder that contains my central models, select the architectural model, and hit open. Notice that I get this dialog that allows me by default to create a new local file, meaning I don't open the central model, I simply take a local copy. Now you can see in Revit that my username is appended to the file name, so I do indeed have a local copy and I'm ready to set up my Revit environment. The first thing that I want to do now is check my linked models. You see the MEP model is linked to my architectural file and ProjectWays made sure the MEP file was copied to my computer correctly. I can easily link the structural model from ProjectWise as well. I use the link Revit button to get a project-wise dialog, select the structural model, hit open, and the model is copied out of project-wise and will be linked to my architectural model and loaded into session. I'll choose origin by origin to ensure that the model correctly locates in respect to the Revit session. And you can see that was successful. From here I will configure project-wise change alerts. By selecting the Options button from the Bentley Ribbon tab, I can set timers to help me understand who is making changes to any of the files I'm using in my design. By setting these timers, ProjectWise will inform me in the Revit session when someone else either changes the central model or any models that I have linked to the central model. This allows me to reload and see the changes whenever I want. I have set the timer for three minutes for both the central file and the linked files, which means within three minutes of any change to these files, I will get notified that they have changed. Therefore, all members of the team can see the changes made by everyone else as they happen, avoiding conflicts in the design. Now that I have my environment all set up, I can get to work. The first thing I want to do is check out a work set. You do not have to use work sets when using the ProjectWise integration for Revit, but work sets are fully supported. So, I'll simply go up to the Collaborate tab, click the Work Sets button, let me just expand the work set name column so I can see the full name of the work set I'm looking for. And I'll check out the work set that I want to operate on. Notice this entire workflow feels the exact same way as it would if you were using Revit without ProjectWise. I'll go ahead and make that the active work set so that I can get to work. The change that I want to make to the model is pretty straightforward. I simply want to grab this group of desks, make a copy of it, and take that copy to the adjacent column, expanding it by one row. Now I want to synchronize my change with the central model that's stored in ProjectWise. Synchronization is also exactly as you're used to seeing if you're familiar with Revit work sharing. Therefore, I'll click the Synchronize with Central button and click OK. ProjectWise Delta File Transfer kicks in meaning the only changes I made to the model get transferred to the server, not the entire file. This makes the process very fast. You can see the change alert notifications informing me that the central file was locked and is now unlocked, meaning the synchronization is complete. 
anyone else that has their change alerts configured for central file updates and is working on the same central model will get that same notification. The project-wise change alerts that we saw work both ways, meaning not only will my actions cause them, but as we see here, I receive change alerts when others update the models that I'm using. In this case, this change alert indicates an element borrowing request has been put in against one of the elements that I own. I can use the Revit Editing Requests tool and see that Joe Granville has asked to borrow a specific element that I own in the work set that I've checked out. I can use all of the element borrowing and editing request tools with the ProjectWise integration. And you can see it's a good thing Joe wants to borrow my element as I didn't do a very good job adding that new group of desks. So I'll grant Joe's request. Notice the change alert that just instantly updates the permissions files, making sure that only Joe can update the element. Now, I'll simply wait for Joe to do whatever he wants to do to my element, and I'll see another change request come in when he has synchronized his change back to the central model that we're both using, which is stored up in ProjectWise. You can see the central model update notification change alert has come in, and I'll simply use the existing Revit Reload Latest tools to see Joe's change and see how it affects the model. So I'll click Reload Latest. Again, ProjectWise Delta File Transfer comes in, and it downloads Joe's change, and we can see Joe has moved that group of desks one column over again, and it looks like he did a much better job making sure that everything was in direct alignment than I did when I had made my change to the element. The last thing I want to do, I need to do from a different view inside Revit. So I'm going to switch to a 3D view. I'll just choose one of the overhead isometrics. And in this case, I'm just doing a visual inspection of the entire project and just making sure that everything looks the way it should. Here, another change alert, but this time showing me that one of the linked models has changed, in this case, the structural link. And I can look at the project-wise audit trail to see who made the change. Again, this was made by Joe. And he added a comment. And I can see all the changes that were made since the last time that I have reloaded this model. And he made a, a series of changes in a very short period of time. So you can see that he changed the foundation plan per the phase two review meeting. That's something very important to me. I want to know about such changes the minute they get committed. So I'm going to use the existing Revit tools. I'll go to Manage Links and reload the structural model. Again, Delta File Transfer comes into play, making this reload operation happen very, very quickly, regardless of where Joe's working from or where I'm working from. And you can see there's some drastic changes made to the structural model. I'm really glad that I found out about these sooner rather than later, as I'm going to have to figure out what the structural team is doing. And ProjectWise has made sure that I was well aware of that change right as it happened. So I have not done any work, and I can unravel all this mess. This concludes the video showing how Revit work sharing operates when the data are managed by ProjectWise. Look for more videos that show operations and benefits of managing Revit projects and data with ProjectWise.